We've got a 2005 Ford Fiesta and we've got starting issue. So clutch down, goes to start, cuts out, recycle the ignition, go to start, cuts out, go to start, nothing. do is we can take off this um, airbox and then get to the MAF sensor. Just need to undo these two 10mm bolts. Taking the air filter off, you got connects here, one, here, two, and this pipe goes in as well for three. And that should be on the back of the air filter. All these screws. That's these little star shaped screws that you need to take out. I think that the sensor's in there. Air box comes off. Air filter. Not too bad. Might get a new one. So here you got um, like a little hose uh, which comes from the intake into the MAF sensor. There's a little clip here. So you just need to literally just pick, unpick that. And that's all I've done, that comes off now. And then you get the MAF sensor in the throttle body. Well, once you've taken them four screws out, there is a reset. there's a connector with a red tab so you need to pull up the tab and then pull off the connector and hopefully once you get that thread up off the body off Your connector on the throttle body, just free that off. Screw the driver underneath 
it and try and prise it off. This is a turtle body, just taking it off. You can see there there's quite a lot of uh, carbon buildup. Um, genuinely you need to clean. On the side there you can see it's even worse. Dead spiders, cobwebs, carbon. So on the left sensor, there's just one T20 bolt which you can just see just there. You just literally need to remove that bolt and then the math sensor comes out. Easy peasy. The back of the math sensor is this wiring. So you disconnect that wiring and then that should come out. So that's the sensor just taking that off. So it doesn't look too bad. Just give it a little wipe over. A bit of oil in there I think. But I'll clean it up and get it all back together. The power cleaner I'm using is this one. Winds, air intake and carburetor cleaner. And you can see I've just been doing this for a couple of minutes. Made up a lot cleaner. That's with hardly any effort. Still a bit more to do. So here we have the throttle body now. Um, all cleaned up. This front, that's the underneath. And that's actually what came out of it. So yeah, so far so good for this stuff. We have the um, throttle body, uh, all cleaned. A lot better than it was earlier. It's just seen there. And um, clean it up with some white spirit. Um, and uh, the other one with the air intake clean. Okay, so we have um, our airflow sensor um, and uh, the throttle body. I'm going to put all this back together uh, as quick as possible because uh, we've got some bad weather coming in tonight. So I'll get everything back together and uh, the only thing that I need to do uh, last of all um, is just put that, attach that clip on the bottom there which um, goes on the bottom of the intake and um, just uh, attaches onto the throttle body. So I'll do that now. Yep, so there we go. That's that's now on. Uh, got a pair of these I use. That sort of job. Yep. Uh, use some pair of pliers and that's now on. So hopefully we're going to start this up. And this is now the next day. And just to show you what happened, I did test it last night when I put it all back together. So ignition on. Oh, that didn't fire. Now it looks like we've got a new problem, possibly the immobilizer. Unbelievable. When you put this in, and it's died. Unbelievable. Flashing, park car and case Annoying. Right, back to the drawing board. 
So new air filters right today. Uh, didn't wasn't here yesterday, so I just put it back together, put the old one back in there just to get the car running, and it seemed to be running fine yesterday. So get this new air filter in and get it all put back together. This is the old air filter, it's a Wix. It's a Wix WA6706. Um, new one going in is Crossland. It's quite nice. Uh, one of them. So yeah, cool, I'll put this in. I now have the car idling, thankfully. I can rev it a little bit. It's day three now and the car is fixed, car is sorted. Um, earlier on uh, I found out that what I had to do is to reset the system. You do that literally by turning the key over, turning the ignition over and uh, starting the engine, making sure the engine keeps turning over um, and then turn all your lights and all your electrical stuff on and that will actually just reset the system um, so did that took it for a little drive and all, all was fine and now literally when I switch it on ignition on yeah workers salute our front liners and there we go so it's revving maybe just a little bit high but that's fine I'd take that to be honest. Job's a good. Thanks for watching.